Mountainous, green and covered in heather, this landscape might look a little bit like Scotland or Ireland, but in fact we are in northwest Spain, exactly the point where Galicia and Castile and Leon meet. This area of the country has some of the oldest traditions, including the Way of St. James or the Camino de Santiago. And while that path may be well trodden by human feet, an old feature of the landscape is also making its slow return, the brown bear. They are following almost the exact same route, coming further south from their populations in the Cantabrian mountains into Galicia. And people, NGOs, the European Union and the Foundation of Brown Bears are speaking with the locals to prepare them for the arrival of one of Spain's rarest animals. This is a Sierra do Calvrel. Having been banished to the realm of folklore in much of Spain after centuries of persecution, conservation efforts are beginning to buck the bears' dwindling numbers in the Cantabrian mountains, and they are spilling over into new territory. There are around 250 wild brown bears in the Cantabrian mountains, split between an eastern and western subpopulation. In the Caurel, they find a habitat much unchanged since their predecessors were eradicated from the zone the best part of a century ago. El oso llega porque hay excedentes, las zonas buenas, en, la, en el suroccidente de Asturias, en la zona del Alto Sil de León, ahí hay una población en crecimiento, eh, cada vez hay más osos, entonces por su propia dinámica poblacional, digamos ellos lo que, lo que van es ir radiando ejemplares a otras zonas eh, donde hay calidad de hábitat como es en el Courel pero lo hacen ellos solos, o sea, van caminando paulatinamente, generalmente son machos, son ejemplares jóvenes, que digamos, los, los machos grandes, los ejemplares grandes, pues les, les, les desplazan, les... entonces ellos de alguna manera, pues se buscan un nuevo territorio, exploran. The river gorges of the Caurel are coated in mixed woodland, and for the bears there is a sumptuous menu of wild chestnuts, cherries and honey. The sweet substance, imbued with the flavor of the region's wildflowers, is a local delicacy, often served as a dessert liberally spooned over fresh cheese. The bears find it irresistible. No one knows this better than the local beekeepers, who have awoken on numerous occasions to find their hives smashed open and gutted of their honeycomb and larva. In fact, these gluttonous acts of vandalism are one of the only signs of their presence. It is a major hurdle for the conservationists who must work with the local beekeepers to ensure their livelihoods are not threatened by the returning mammals. Luckily, the relationship between man, bee and bear goes back some time. Hundreds of slate rings called albaritas bear witness to this. These little fortresses once served to protect the Caurel's hives from the hungry Bruins at a time when they roamed much of Europe's woodland. They provide a modern blueprint for the conservationists, although many contemporary honeymakers opt instead for the electric fence, or a mix of the two. We have seen the stone structures that once kept bears away from the honey pots, dating back hundreds of years, which show that bears were once widespread across the region. Um, we've seen some of the work that the European Union's LIFE project is doing here, what the Spanish Foundation for Brown Bears and some NGOs are doing here, speaking with the local inhabitants so that they're ready for when the bears start to make their return. Uh, what we've not seen is, unfortunately, bears themselves. Now, they're hard to see at the best of times, but when they're expanding into a new environment like this, even harder so. But they betray their presence with their unbridled love for honey. We know this because uh, beekeepers in the area have recorded attacks by bears on their beehives. Um, so we know they're here for sure. Um, what remains to be seen is whether other populations of bears will follow suit and start to establish themselves here in the Sierra del Caurel a bit more permanently. And um, if they do so, or when they do so, hopefully the local people here will be well prepared.